Hi, and welcome along to Better Won't Do That, a weekly-ish podcast where I, Grant Mullen... And myself, John Menzies... Somehow managed to cram a half hour worth of garbage into a free podcast. And sometimes there's a little bit of talk about music. That's what we started the podcast for, so today we're going to be talking about song lyrics, but who knows what else we're going to be talking about. We'll be going all over the place, don't you worry about that. Why don't you find out with us? Enjoy. I kind of miss the old days. Did you know that, John? Remember I'm sorry, I was having a glass of wine. <laughs> what, what old? Which old the, days? The old days when I used we didn't start the podcast with some kind of cool intro, and I used to just start talking, and you didn't know that I was talking, and. You know, yeah, but the thing is, I know that we're going to do this for a while and then one day you're just oh, going to start tricking me. Yeah, you'll bring it back when I least back. expect it because yeah. I've begun to expect it now. I'll bring it back like and Justin been... Timberlake bought Sexy back. Oh, and he did bring Sexy back because I was wondering where it had gone and then luckily Justin Timberlake went out, grabbed it, brought it back. Yeah, I, t- I took it to the op shop. Yeah. And oh, just... that was you who yeah. took it? Yeah, 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 was, yeah, yeah. Wh- Why would you take that? I didn't need the... it. I didn't need it no more. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, but other yeah. people might have needed it. Justin Timberlake's like a good dog. Yeah? Yeah, he's bringing... He's a nice to fetch. Yeah, I threw it. You threw he's it? He got it. Around. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So does Justin Timberlake hang out with Murphy, your dog? <laughs> he does. Um, They're good mates. Yeah. Do you know Justin Timberlake's uh, hair is made of two-minute noodles? <laughs> no, I did not know that. True. Google it. Google it. It's a true story. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. I'd love to know where that's going to go. <laughs> so we, we, we've got something weirdly different that we've never, ever done before. We have a listener request. Oh, that's dangerous. Tonight. Oh, no. I oh, know. We have a listener request. Oh, no. This what is, is it? not a... Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Close. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song that neither you nor I chose. And so up until this episode, you and I have chosen every song and... Um, so if this is better, then yeah, I, yeah, we're yeah. In I mean, it might be amazing. It might, it be, might amazing. be amazing. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Hey, so um, also, I just want to ask to our beauties um, if you've. I know- like that. That's caught on, by the way. Sorry yeah, to interrupt you. Yeah. The beauties, it uh, just flows. Yeah, it just comes out. Now. Hopefully, beauties love it. Oh, if you're new like to the it. podcast, beauty stands for, but I won't do that. Does <laughs> people people's yeah. Yeah, it's non-gender, non-binary, non-binary. It's non-binary, non gender It's neither yeah. he nor she or they or yeah, us or we. You it's little just, flaming beauty. You're just a beauty. Yeah, beauty. It's, it's, and, it's, and it is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. B-I-W-D-T. D-T. Yeah. yeah beauty. beauty. I just threw that out of there. I didn't actually know what I, it was. I, I like it. But you, yeah. came, you came up with that one, didn't you? Yeah, it was going to be beauties. beauties. And I thought, well, we're so close to beauties. Why not go to that? Yeah. And, yeah. and dear listeners... You are beauties. You are beauty. You're, yeah. You know what? You're beautiful. Aww. Yeah, you. You. I'm talking yeah. to you. You are beautiful. Hang on. No, he's actually talking to you. That's right. Yeah. You with the sad face, come, come up, up to, to my, my place. place. Let's live it up. And if you want to come up to my place and live it up, feel free. It's you fine. have no heater. Yeah, not at the moment. We come over in summer. My <laughs> house is freezing. It's like yeah. a meat locker. Yeah, my house. yeah. It's only because of all the dead sheep hanging up in your living room. Well, you might as well make use of it. Mm. Dead wall. I've got dead wallaby. They're all just hanging there. Yeah, getting preserved. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and um, this is coming to you tonight live from Wolf Creek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, do you, do you actually get that reference? Yeah, I, I know there's a movie Wolf Creek. Yeah, sometimes, uh, yeah. sometimes John just grins at me and he's like, because I think. Yeah. Oh, Wolf Creek, serial killer. That's a little too close. I better not make any jokes about this because it'll be all be revealed about what I do in my spare time. Just got a message from my daughter. Oh, how is she? Good. She said that she's going to drop past with uh, her husband's new car. They just bought a Mercedes. Oh, fair. Well, I've already got a Mercedes. Yeah, your daughter's name's Mercedes. I've, I've got a daughter called Mercedes. And you know what? That one doesn't break down. Well, you know, one of the funniest movies that I... No, that's a lie. Let me rewind. One of the movies I saw mm-hmm. that has a funny line in it mm-hmm. was a um, well, the Corys, the two Corys. Remember Corey Feldman, Corey Haim? Yes. Yep. They did a movie called License to Drive. Oh. And the female protagonist in that movie, her name was Mercedes. Mm-hmm. And she passed out after going to a party once and they were in mm-hmm. the back seat of the car. And one of the Corys said, this Mercedes has a flat battery. Nice. <laughs> Tickled me. I'm going to remember that one and use it one day when my daughter's a bit tired. Have you ever never? Have you no. never? No. No, never. 
never have. Have you ever made car jokes about your daughter? No, we just don't. Yeah. I don't know why. Actually, now we mention it. Mind you, we did have a um, a kid at school, and I'm not joking, yeah. called Mark Hunt. <clears throat> Mark Hunt. What's funny about that? I don't know. don't know, yeah. but we never picked... Yeah, exactly. There's What's nothing funny, funny. And I got to like 28 like and then realised... Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> with an accent, Mark Hunt. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, mm. you know... Um, mm. This podcast rating just changed? No, Mark Hunt, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, sorry, yeah. I missed remember, remember how we were just saying it doesn't actually mean a thing. That's right, it doesn't. I don't even know why I brought it up. No. But anyway, the joke that wasn't there, I didn't even get till I was 28 or 29. <gasps> oh, poor dear sweet joke. Or probably older. Yeah, I went, oh, I went to school with a guy with a perfect name. And you know what? I never heard a person take the piss. You were quite, you were a England. naive young fellow, weren't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. so naive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Still yeah. am. I am? Still am. So do you know that you're... Naive? And I'm really happy with the leprechaun you sold me. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I think it's run away, but I'm sure he'll come back. No, but no, I, no. you know what? That was $2,000 well spent. It may have just gone invisible. They you, do did, that. you did say a leprechaun goes invisible. Yeah, from you time said to time. That. Yeah. All from right, time no, that's fair enough. And the more you look for it, the less you'll find it. Yeah. So just anyway. remember that too. Anyway, that aside, time. yes, I, I yeah. used to be gullible. There you go. But I'm not anymore. Well, I've funny you should mention it because I've got the word gullible written just there on the roof. Wait, what? What? <laughs> oh, you got me! <laughs> you saw the effort John, you should have we should have video effort, this sometime the effort you put into that physical gag for a podcast was just phenomenal I'm so good at physical gags for a podcast <laughs> so I just just for full content so um, go to our Facebook page and you'll see I just did a Facebook live this afternoon with what our studio setup is and mm. um, I don't know if you even saw that John. no I didn't see that I didn't even know yeah I talked about our 20th or 25th episode we've got coming up how we're going to do a live audience and all that sort of stuff. Brilliant. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. Um, Alessandro Zito is very keen. He's one of our listeners, one of mm-hmm. our beauties. He's he's really looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, one, of the, one of the things we've just done is we've, as you can probably hear in the podcast, we're now coming through different speakers. So I'm coming through your right speaker, I think. John's coming through the left speaker. But So basically, if you're driving, yeah. I'm coming through from the passenger seat and yes. Grant is yelling at you from a car to your right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, <God! laughs> Um, so yeah, we um, so John just did a whole thing with the with the Doppler effect with both the microphones, and it was really really cool. So you should actually try it. Go from that microphone to that microphone. And go, but with the thing on the ceiling. That's it. Nice, nice, nice. We'll do that again in the episode. See if you can spot it. So we might do that Hopes. live at some stage. So tonight we have a or this afternoon. If you see, I've got to stop referencing times of day. Mm-hmm. We have an episode uh, right now that's right been now. listener suggested, and for the life of me, I can't remember who. <laughs> yeah, we're was, so sorry. We yeah. can't remember who. We'll have a look through. It was someone amazing. <sighs> I think it could have been. Could have been. It was either Katie or Kelly. It was one of them. But um, whoever one it of was. The K's. Whoever it was, we loved them. Katie enough. Kelly. We, we loved Ku Klux them enough. Clan, to, we loved them K's. enough to do it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking the names beginning with K. I, I don't yeah. know. Are yeah. that, is Katie in the Ku Klux Klan? Yes. Is she a cl- Katie in the Klan? That's just beautiful. It just flows. <laughs> Clan Katie. Which Katie are you talking about? Clan Katie. Clan oh, Katie. it's just nice. Yeah. yeah. It's probably not Katie, is it? No. Who knows? Yeah. No, it could have been Katie. I think it was actually. Anyway. Whoever it is is very so to, that we're th- calling them Katie. This episode is titled <laughs> Safety, Safety Dance. Dance. Safety Dance. So we're going to talk about. So, um, I'm going to frame... Because, you know, I like to frame things up as if it's like a real world sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that um, you and I have just hooked up on a Tinder date. And we're going out for the very first time. But you're a very naive young lady. You haven't been out on a lot of Tinder dates. You've only just started sort of dating in your late 30s. Like You you haven't had... You've been unlucky in love. Uh, But but I'm I'm quite... You know what... I have been in lucky love. You know what I think it is? I think it's my very, very deep voice. (laughs) I have a very deep voice for a woman. You do, but... um, And a huge penis for a woman. I was going to say you are quite well endowed for a woman, is what I was going to (laughs) say. I'm quite well endowed for a man, thank you very much. Your legs are quite hirsute, shall we say? You've got three legs. Yes. um, Anyway, sorry, we'll cut that bit out. I'm sure when I sat on your lap before something twitched. (laughs) No, that that was my Glock. Oh, Um, so is that a rabbit in your pocket? A rabbit? Is that a rabbit in your pocket? I don't even get that. You're supposed to say, no, it's my penis. 
Is that a rabbit in your pocket? No, it's a Glock. Oh, <laughs> what a shame. I was going to pat it. Oh. Oh, okay. oh no, it's my... Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so... So, anyway, so, you're a gentleman. I'm a lady. We've met on Tinder. And, and we're just... We're just going out on our first date, yeah. and this is our conversation. So, yeah, absolutely. Fuck, great. Okay. Okay. So we can dance if we want to. Oh, can we? That sounds great. Yeah, yeah. We can leave your friends behind. Wait, what? Yeah. Why? Because yeah, your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Why my friends? Because they don't dance, and if they don't dance, they're no friends. What of mine. What if your friends don't dance? Just, are you, my are you do saying dance. all of your friends dance? Look, we can dance if we want to. Well, my friends can dance if they want to. No, but they don't dance. I mean, some of them don't. Well, they're no friends of mine. So if they don't dance, you're not even going to be... They don't get the time of the well, day. Don't worry about the dance clubs, all right? We can go where we want to. A we place can go where we, we want to? Yeah, a place they'll never find. But the whole point of a place is that you can find it and you can go to it and you can have a dance if you want to. But it's one of those secret places, you know, down those back alleys in Melbourne that are really cool. Oh, and you've got to know people, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to know someone and they, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I, I've heard of those places, that's fair. Yeah, and if we act like we come from out of this world. What, like can, an alien? No, like Elton John. Oh, yeah. That was a do nice, you remember that one from last week? Do you remember week? that one from last How did you remember that all the way from last week? From seven days ago. Seven days ago. It was that's like, like, um, it was that's like, like a, nearly a work. Oh, well, it's slightly more than a working week for an astronaut, apparently, isn't it? <laughs> a rocket man, you mean? A rocket man, yeah, sorry. That's it's like we different. only recorded that episode 11 minutes and 45 seconds ago. It, I mean, it's uncanny. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Anyway, <laughs> how are you feeling this date's going? <laughs> well, so far it's pretty one-sided, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway, if we act like we come from out of this world, we can leave the real one far behind and we could dance. We can? Yeah. Or but, not, sing. but we can dance, also, but not my friends. No, not if your they friends. Don't dance. they don't dance. Well, they're no friends of mine. You know what? To be fair, not many of them dance. I know. Well, I mean, you, look. You've, have you noticed? Have you been stalking my Facebook and noticed that my friends <laughs> don't dance? Like, how do you... The fact that we're having this conversation on our first date implies you've done a bit of stalking. Just remember that we met at paraplegics.com. True. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing to say, is it? No, everybody mentally edit that out. Right. <laughs> um, anyway, we could dance or sing. Well, look, or you know sing. what? So those that don't dance... Yeah. So, so those that don't dance can sing, or if you don't dance, no, you don't even get the choice to sing. Because oh. that's very specific, and I'd like to let my friends know all the rules. It, it depends. Are uh, your friends hung like you? Are uh, your friends, sorry, built like you're built, or are they nah. differently? Yeah. Nah. Are you talking about my big old lady dick? <laughs> Is that what you're. Are you making a joke to something I said as a man and now I'm a woman, you're bringing it up again? <laughs> oh, my Hence God. Hence admitting that I've got a big old swinging lady, you know what? I hate this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the most hated one. All right, let's keep going. Let's right, make look, everybody... Let's not worry about right. where we're going. Let's talk about when we're going, okay? All right, so no, no, oh, that's fair. We can go when we want to. When we want... Yeah, you know what, yeah. we can... Although, to be fair, I've got work. But, you know, some, oh. from time to time. Yeah? Yeah. The nine is young and so am I. Well, the nine is... Wait, how old are you? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I am also twelve, which makes it all right. <laughs> all right. So, oh, sorry. That's in dog years. I'm twelve in dog years. So I did just kind of make that weird. I wonder why you looked at me like, dude, stop. <laughs> because we've just kind of implied I'm a big old butch trans woman and now you're a 12-year-old boy and it was just getting a bit... Have you ever seen the movie Big with Tom Hanks? Yes, I have. Yes. Do you know the weird bit about that? So he's a 12-year-old kid. Yes. And he becomes an adult, falls yeah. in love with a fully grown woman who's yeah. his co-worker. She finds out that he's a 12-year-old boy and at the end of the movie when he turns back into a 12-year-old boy gives him a kiss on the mouth. Mm -hmm. Go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. It's true. You know, when I saw that, I was probably around that age. <gasps> and I actually, when he got a kiss from a grown woman, I was yeah. like, ooh. Did your undies get tight in ways that you couldn't explain? I, I think I was a bit too young for that kind of thing. But I did, oh. it did. At for, 12? At, at that age, mm. to see that beautiful woman kiss that boy who I'd watched through them. You know, you, you <laughs> sort of associate with yeah, Tom yeah, Hanks yeah. and Big as a... You know, as a kid, yeah. As a kid, yeah. You identify with him, and when he was kissed by the beautiful woman, I thought, yeah. "Ooh!" Like I, at that age, 
Yeah. I had no problem with it. Okay. Strangely. Yeah. Did you make it a goal or anything like that, or is it just is it to s- magically become an adult and then revert back to being a boy so I could trick that woman in? No, no, that that wasn't a goal. I did. How did it go? I just wanted to do it so I could play that giant piano. Piano. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, that was good. Dun, but dun. Do, 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 do. You know, it was only years later that I found it was called Heart and Soul, that song. Heart and Soul. No, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's called Heart oh, and Soul. Oh, there you go. And I learned that by watching another movie called The Breakfast Club. Oh, they're all interrelated, aren't they? Yeah. Does yeah. Um, Molly Ringwald's character could play Heart and Soul on the piano with her toes? I haven't even seen that movie. Really? Yeah, I know it's a classic. It's a John Hughes film. Yes, and I and I can even in I've seen so much of it on YouTube or other shows over the years. I can see scenes in my head, yeah. but I know I've never actually seen the movie. I know there's a guy at the end who holds a radio above yeah, his head. Yeah, that's um, John Bender. Is uh, I, I, I can't know, remember. I his wouldn't real, know who it was. Can't remember his name. But I, rem- I remember him holding a radio. There was something to do with the radio, and they're all stuck in a library or yeah, something. That's right. On it's detention, old. on Saturday detention. Yeah, yeah. 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 Emilio Estevez. That's right. A young Emilio. Uh, Molly Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. Um, I couldn't tell you. And like, like I said, I haven't seen the Ali film. Ali Sheedy. I, I, Ali Sheedy. I don't know who that is. She's gorgeous, Ali Sheedy. Is she still gorgeous or was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah gorgeous yeah, older yeah, woman yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, she, yeah, she's our age. Our age. Everyone in that. Everyone I in suppose that they. They're all be. our age. Yeah, I suppose they would be. Oh, hold yeah. on. Am I a woman now? Am I? Are we still on this uh, In the role play. Oh, we go. Are we are in or out of the role play? I'm no, we're back in now. You're back in. Oh, excuse me. You're fluid. You know what? Yeah, all right. Yep. So anyway, about this day, and we could dress real neat from our hats to our feet and surprise them with the victory cry. The victory cry? You know the victory cry. We Where we hold about our it. swords aloft and swing them around. Go, yeah! That's now, what did we agree to yell for our victory cry? I can't remember. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, giddy bar, giddy bar. Ah, uh, yeah, giddy bar, giddy bar. I didn't remember. I had no idea. Let's remember give it a that? shot. <laughs> That was re- yeah. You know what? I remember now completely. Remember now? That was, yeah. Did I do it accurately? Yes. Enough? Yeah. Brilliant. Yep. So that will surprise. So I've got the- I say that will surprise them. Yeah. This is actually. I have to tell you, of all the Tinder dates I've had, this is definitely one of them. <laughs> yeah. It's probably the uh, a Tinder date with. Look, I, I'm a woman. I'm allowed to say this, but yeah. probably one of the ugliest women you've ever met. I don't know. Do you like a woman with really big, thick shoulders and arms? I am from Frankston. Oh, you, you're probably into it. Yeah, yeah. fair, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Say, no, fine. say, we can act if we want to. Of course we can. If we don't, nobody will. And you can act real rude and totally removed, and I can act like an imbecile. Oh, <laughs> and sometimes you do. You know what I just think we described then? What's that? Our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, pretty much. That's a brilliant... We should use that as the intro. Yes. <laughs> okay, welcome back to you, Bird. I won't do that. And where we act real rude and totally removed, and I can act like an imbecile. And occasionally so do I. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, say, look, we can dance. We can dance. Everything's out of control. You know, I like it when everything's out of control. We're dancing, everything's out of control. We've probably smoked some wacky backy or something. Wacky Brilliant. backy? Oh, you know, Satan salad. What's that? A jazz cigarette. I don't Have know. Have you it's... never heard of it? No. Well, Grant, I you... do not want to sully your life with Are you talking about the Mary Jane? T- I'm talking about the Mary Jane. Ah, it's not for you. No, I'm more into Peter Parker. Peter Parker, yeah, yeah no, that's fair enough. Mary Jane. Yeah, yeah, I don't do... I don't, like, I'm not into the Mary Jane. I'm not having any Mary Jane at the moment. No. I'll, at the moment? You mean as in right now? Generally. I'd smell it. I'm, I'm not smoking it generally. You know, I, I, I even quit. I just bumped my microphone. I'm so yeah, sorry. Very exciting. You, you, were, you went with a flourish then. Yeah. I was just about to say, I have actually quit cigarettes and... You never no. smoke the other stuff anyway. Because no, 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 it's no, illegal no, no, in Australia. Uh, never. No, no, no. No officer. Not even medicinally. No officer. Um, never smoked anything, Dre. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good on you. And um, I'm not quit forever. You know, I'm quit ex, for a moment. I'm an ex-smoker. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. yeah that time I was on fire. And you were covered in petrol, you were on yeah. fire, and you thought, yeah. you know what, this isn't working for me. Yeah, that's right. I just put myself out. Yeah. I think it was time to do it. <laughs> you know, we can dance. We can dance. They're doing it from pole to pole. Oh, like North Pole, South Pole, or are they no. doing Morris dancing around a pole? No, the other one. Pole dancing. Oh, like as in sexy pole dancing, yeah. or as in pole as in body part? Athletic pole dancing. Do you, what do you think of men who do pole dancing for a sport? 
Uh, look, I don't know. I haven't actually seen it. I like it. I like it when a lady does it for sport. I don't <laughs> like it when they're a stripper. Is that weird? No, no, no. It's not weird. I, I like agree. I like it when women, an athletic woman, because it's bloody hard. For sport is yeah. like it's both difficult and yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's like but a man doing it. Yeah, so, to me, and I might be a bit non mis- mis- misogynistic. I don't, is there mm. a word to be anti men? Doesn't matter. I don't want to see a man on a pole. I don't either. Yeah. It's, so I know a guy. I I met a guy when in a previous role that I had. And he worked at this business and I'm like, you know, making small talk with the dude. And he's a nice guy. I won't say what his name is. Billy but... Pole. Hey? Billy Pole. No, no. He, he, wasn't even, he wasn't even Polish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I said, you know, so what do you do? Expecting him to go. Because he's quite you know, a physical sort of... Like, You're you know, expecting a bit of a... I'll oh, do a bit of weights. Play a bit of play footy. footy. Play a bit of footy, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course and, you're expecting that. And he goes, pole dancing. And I, my and you immediate, nearly fell off your pole. I am no, I immediately went to, like, where he watches it. Like, I is didn't. That, is think, that a sport watching pole dancing? But this yeah. this guy is actually, and I still I'm still friends with him on social media. Um, he is a competitive, travels Australia for competitive pole dancing, and occasionally he wins gold above the four other guys in Australia who do it. <laughs> is that many? It's the world. It's probably the world's lowest bar to entry, lowest pole to entry. If you're on Spotify, if you're, ma- if you're a, male yeah. and you want to get into a sport and dominate, you either create a sport and hit goldfish with a golf club, or you go to pole dancing. That's my theory. I think it's an easy, easy sport for a man to dominate. Like this, probably tens of thousands of women doing it. Yeah. It's hard. It's difficult to get to the top if you're a woman. If you own a pole ladies. dancing studio, but if you're male, I'm sorry. There's probably what four of you, four, uh, or in the whole of Australia. So a few things might happen here. Yeah. We could potentially get our asses kicked by, by the, pop, the by the, the male the, the pole four dancing, male pole community. dancing community. <laughs> The four strong, four You know what? The, the the female pole dancers are probably going to stick up for these men, hundred percent, and they will kick my ass. And you know what? I hope they do. There's lick your what? Oh, kick, kick, said, right? Kick. So, well, I mean, they can do that one as well. There's but a very if, if, a, if a female pole dancer yeah. wants to get in touch and have a date, like, I'm totally up for it. I think we should put it out there to the Hobart Tasmanian pole dancing community that if. Someone mm. uh, has a pole dancing business and they want us to come and do some pole dancing to prove just how give it a go p- how piss easy it really is to win yeah. a gold medal at the Olympics doing pole yeah. dancing. Then we're up for it. I mean, yeah. we we would instantly be amazing at that. I would. Say. I would. I would say I would be incredibly amazing, even yeah. though I'm compensating for a smashed to bits arm and shoulder. Don't worry about it. It'll be. I've got another arm. I've got two yeah, arms. Like how you- hard can it be? There's a pole there. So anyway. They're dancing from pole to pole. So we can dance. Everybody, look at your hands. Now. Go ahead. I've got a point with this. Go ahead. We can dance. We can dance. Everybody, look at your hands. I remember this song coming out. Yes. And um, I would have, I think, I think, and I don't know what, um, like I say, we're not music historians. I think I was about 10. And me and my sister and my younger brother, so I would have been... 10 or 11, I don't know, maybe You're 10 when this came out. You were an age. My daughter would have, my daughter. Your daughter, your my daughter, daughter would have been unborn. When you were Sorry, nine. my yeah. sister would have been about eight and my brother out six. We thought it was, we can dance, we can dance, everybody look at your pants. Yeah, so did Homer Simpson. Yeah, we thought it was, everybody look at your pants. But in England, your yeah. pants aren't your trousers, your pants are your undies or your knickers. Oh. So we thought this was hilarious. Everybody look really? at your pe- everybody look at your knickers. <laughs> That's what we thought it was. Yeah. So wow. we Homer Simpson thought that too. Yeah. So what if, an unoriginal thought. Yeah. So are you familiar with the television show The Simpsons? I have heard of it and I've seen one or two episodes. So there is a if you just go to YouTube and look up Homer Simpson safety dance, he's yeah. just going wiggy I'm, dance, I'm, wiggy dance. Everybody look at your pants. I'm sure it was a common misheard lyric, 100%. but we we genuinely as children thought that's what it was. Do you know what misheard lyrics are called? No. Mondegreens. We need to do an entire episode on we need to have 10 Mondegreens each and we go through misheard lyrics. If you would like to hear a Mondegreen episode, just put the word Mondegreen on Facebook. A blimp chat. and send it up into <laughs> over the 
bridge in Hobart. In the stratosphere. In the stratosphere. And we yeah. will see it like a bat signal and we will do the yeah. one degrees episode. Yeah. It'll only cost you about tr- 20 grand to hold. Truth is, whether you comment or not, we're going to do it. <laughs> and we're probably going to do it sooner than <laughs> anybody wants it. Yeah. So, um, and it's from a song called, uh, and it's got some lyrics about somebody who's on the green. So, I'm on the green is the lyrics. And it's from like the early 1900s. So misheard lyrics been going since the 1900s. So yeah, um, yeah, a Mondegreen. I'd, I'd never heard it. Mondegreen. Never heard it called that. Okay, yeah, cool, so cool, cool, cool. So, so are, are we still looking at pants? Date? Is, is are we, who are we, whose pants are we looking at? If we're yeah, no, we're still on the date. Let's go back on this date. Oh, no, it's a date. Sorry, everybody, look at your hands. hands. All right, I'm looking okay. at my, yeah. got, You know what? For a woman, mm. I've got ma- you know, for a man, I've got massive hands. But for a woman, mm. these are no, look at that. Like, you know, like, like bloody plates. You know, you know the things I'm imagining you could do with those, Miss. I could smash a burglar to shit. I can, tell you something. Um, can I get a piggyback home tonight, please? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> Come on, love. Hop on me back. Uh, we could dance. We could dance. Everybody's taking the chance. Everybody's taking the chance to what? Safety dance. Safety. Oh well, you know what? Hey, no. that's the name of the song. They. Uh, that's, that's the, the name title. Of the song. They put it in. They Actually, did. hold on. What is a sa- safety? Safety dance? I, here, I'm doing it now. What is a safety Ready? dance? Ready? Yeah. Is it? Do you that, like it? That was very safe. Yeah. It was like you were barely moving at all. Yeah. It was like the quantum leap of dancing. But I am wearing barely high moved See, at I'm, all. Not, I'm wearing high vis though and a hat and a helmet. Yeah. And gloves. And that was very and safe. shin guards. Very and, safe. and you, and you did boots. not do a thing that would make any danger at all. I'm, I mean, that scaffolding over there is I'm just I'm tethered. Safe. Notice I'm tethered. You are tethered. You've got all. You've got everything on correctly. Yep. Yeah, yep. well done. I'm within the yellow lines. Yeah, you've checked the forklift before you've done anything. <laughs> yeah. There it goes. You're super <laughs> safe. You've looked around. You've yep. cordoned things off. That's right. And now you're dan- and you were yep. dancing. And, it was and when I stopped the forklift and I was done for the day, I turned the gas off. Mm, that's what I like to hear. Yep. Somebody, oh, that's just efficiency. Yep. I'm a woman who loves efficiency, <laughs> especially when it comes to heavy machinery. Is this turning you on, miss? Yes, absolutely. I love to hear about uh, forklift being switched off uh, at the end of the day. Oh, yes, the safety that is, dance. Yeah, actually, out of character, that is actually a genuine part of my work day is, I'll oh, just check the forklifts, sir. Check yeah. the forklifts off. We've yeah, well, them, I've, yeah, I've done, because I work in warehouses and logistics and all that sort of stuff, I've done all that training yeah. myself. I actually front, know you're a front end loader operator. I, I know how um how many meters or how, what distance something can overhang a truck without needing a, a flag on the back of it. One point two meters. Was, oh, just about to say that. One point two meters. I wish I just blurted it out. But yes, yeah. yes you are correct. One point two meters. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you learn it when you're doing your I have to I have to know it because yeah. And it's really handy um, coming home from Bunnings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. You're like, do I put the flag in there? Ah, it's yeah. only 1.18 yeah. metres. You're loading up the sanitary products into the new Skoda. How, how <laughs> far can I have panty pads hanging at the back of my ute? Oh, my, my uh, what is it? A wagon. My new Skoda. Your new Skoda Octavia. wagon. <laughs> nice, mate. But you can have stuff hanging out 1.2 metres. out. You, you can have... Yeah. Buckets and mops hanging yeah. out 1.2 meters. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Thing. Thanks to Sabco, our new sponsors, by the way. Sabco. Sabco, Sabco cleaning products. Are Fantastic. Our new as of this week. Do we, do we get a mop and bucket? We don't. Do we, we, oh, just, well. we just get to say the word Sabco. 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 Your Sabco. first choice in cleaning products. So here's the thing um, this, with the safety dance. We can dance if we want to. We've got all your life and mine. That's a lot of time to be dancing. Did you know that you could go without food for the rest of your life? I mean, you'd have a short life. You have a short life, but you could... Yeah, you could go without food for the rest of your life, absolutely. But if you're dancing, who cares? Who cares? You're having fun. Look, as long as we abuse it, we're never going to lose it. So you have to abuse it. You have to abuse it. So you're abusing the dancing. Yeah. As in you're doing... that implies stepping slightly away from a safety dance. I'm going just marginally outside of the yellow lines and wearing open-toed sandals. Just stick, just so the boss doesn't see. Yeah. Because if the boss doesn't see, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it, no, I, I understand. That could have been a line. And if you dance like me and the boss doesn't see... They should have done... Yeah, they should have uh, done that. Yeah, that it, it is if right. the boss... You know, but sometimes the boss says, you know what, step outside the line. Do you know what I say as we conclude this date tonight I say, say that we can dance if we want to and we can 
I'm going to reinforce this. We can leave your friends behind. I'd rather not, but you know what? If we have to, they're a bunch of twats. <laughs> I don't, you... you know what? I don't even like my friends. As a woman, as a strong, independent woman, my friends are idiots. And in 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 conclusion, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then at said, the end, it goes. You said earlier. All the safety dance. All the safety dance. No, That's how it ends. You said anyway. earlier that I was your only friend. And before the podcast, you said, "You know what, Grant? I could tell you this. Yeah. You're my only friend." And then you said, "All life. my friends are idiots." In real life, and then you said, "All my friends are idiots." Yeah, but I was being a character. I represent that character. I represent that remark. Yeah, but that was I the very, character. As a yeah. character, I've got oh, hundreds of friends. Oh, that was just a character. And they're all idiots. Yeah. In real life, yeah, I've yeah. only got one friend. Yeah, yeah. And he's an idiot. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mind well, you, so am I. So. I very, very strongly <laughs> represent that remark. <laughs> Right, so this is the, probably the first and maybe the last time that we take a listener request. So, because, so the date's over. The date's the, over. How the, do we, the request is done. Can we have... Hey, John. Yeah. Or Josephine. John, where, where no, I am. Johnette. Am I Johnette? Is that a name? I don't think that's a name. Yeah, Johnette will do. Johnette. What would it... What female John? Joan. Joan. Oh. John oh. and Joan Kufak. Yeah, so yeah, Brother yeah. and sister, yeah, Joan. So Joan is a woman that you would look for an Adam's apple on. Yeah. I've never met a Joan. Oh, you've got an Adam Dapper like It's a bit of an mom. it's a bit of a middle aged woman's name. I don't Joan. think there's 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 people being born now. They call her Joan. They're not calling, they're not calling their child Joan now. They should. They should. I don't think they should. I, th- I think it's strong. it's like John. John is a horrible. I've had to live with John my whole life. My grandfather's name is John. I've never identified with it. John Joseph. I'm a John Trans. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually I identify as a different name, but I don't I, know what the name is. What would you be called? I wouldn't. I'd keep with John, even though I don't identify. <laughs> because it's easy. It's on all my bank statements. It's on Facebook. You, Everyone knows me as John. I, I genuinely, half the time I get called Johnny. And yeah. I and that light, like on Facebook, I'm Johnny. Yeah. And my sister's called me Johnny. And a lot of people have called me Johnny. And it softens John. I just feel like John is a, it's, in America, it's a toilet or a, yeah, yeah. It's a purveyor of uh, people who do sex work. Whoa. Yeah, you know, if you, oh. a John. Uh, yeah. If you're dead, you're a John you're a Doe. John, Doe. Yeah. It, John is the catch-all name for anything that doesn't fit. You could be a Canadian French policeman, right. a gendarme. Gendarme, yeah, I could be that as well. Yeah, yeah. the Dan John. But no, I don't know what I, I would change my name, to. and I wouldn't change my name. My name is John. Yeah. I'm okay with it, but yeah. it, I still feel weird about my name being John. I never like my name, Grant. Grant. You gotta say it through your nose. Grant. Yeah, it, and I hate it's being like, it's like you're bro- it's like some like Victoria. Like it's from a ugh, Victoria. It's not a sexy name. No, no. My my my. I wasn't named after him, but my mum's grandfather was James Grant. Yeah, Gregory. How would you feel if you were brought up with a name like your parents had gone? Let's call him Raphael. Well, Raph, because they're going to be Raph. And that's a cool... That's yeah, cool. you're short. It's a, yeah. Raph. You see, my daughter is Mercedes, uh, which we discussed yeah. earlier or in a previous podcast. Or one of those, But, yeah. you know, that's potentially a terrible name, but she loves being called Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is she, what's her nickname? Merck. Merck, yeah. Yeah, she gets called Merck. Yeah. Sace, Sadies. Ah, so she's got choice. So yeah. my name has to be lengthened because, same as you, John to Johnny. Yeah. But my daughter, Jamie, came up with... My best nickname. Yeah. So my surname is Mullen, as you know. Yes. I'm saying that for our beauties. Is she is she now taking the piss out of your surname now she's changed hers? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> she got married and so, took a different one on? She calls me Grantos Malantos. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And that's I like nice. That. I like that one. From so your daughter, that that's really beautiful. So that's how I sign into hotels and things like that now. And like the, You know, you've got to sign in for COVID things. Yeah, and, Grantos like, Malantos. Yeah, Grantos Malantos. I like that. That's good. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Uh, this has been a weird episode. It's been a strange us. experience. You know what? I, I, I kind of enjoyed being a woman. I enjoyed our date, Grant. I yeah. don't think we're going to take this any further. Can you rate me three stars at least? I'll rate you three stars. That's, That's absolutely fine. We, there's not going to be a second date, oh. I'm afraid. Mm, don't I be love afraid. you, buddy, but... Don't be afraid. I love you, but no. What if I went to this? What if I went to this? I don't I'll have to think about it. Find out the next episode. <laughs>
pam 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 pam